thoughts arise and fears dismay, though some may dwell where these abound. My prayer, my aim is higher ground. Lord. Good morning, everyone. It is morning time. It is time to get up. It's time to stretch our spiritual muscles and just know that God is with us today. Today, I want to welcome you to our 28th day of Bible Boot Camp. Wow, we are almost there. Three more days and we have ended our challenge, but we'll continue our relationship and our worship experience with God. And so I'd like to welcome each one of you to another day of Bible Boot Camp. It is Sunday, the first day of the week. The first day of the week that's preparing us throughout this whole week. And today, we want to make sure that each one of you are prepared, not only for the day, not only for the week, but for the rest of your life. We want to talk a little bit today about what should your journey look like as a disciple of God. And so again, I want to thank you for joining us on Bible Boot Camp, where we are ready to move to higher ground. As we begin this worship experience, we're asking you to wake up, stretch your spiritual muscles and know that God is here. God is ready to do something with your life today. And so we want to move to higher ground. Again, throughout the rest of this broadcast of the next three days, we want to add this prayer to everyone's life knowing that God says that through him, it's going to be okay. So let's pray this prayer together. Lord, please calm my heart and my soul today. So many things are out of my control and I need your love to soothe me and calm me. Your love lets me know it will be okay. And we believe that it will be okay. Let's bow our heads together as we enter into another day of Bible Boot Camp. Father, again, we come before you thanking you for being a good God to us, an awesome God to us, a God that can do all things and be all things to us. Today, we want to move to higher ground. Today, we want to be better than we've ever been. We give ourselves to you just one more time. And so we ask that your Holy Spirit will continue to bless us as we're climbing to a place that we believe that we need to be. And that's a better relationship with you. So, Lord, I ask you that you'll be with us and that you'll bless us. In Jesus' name, amen. And so, again, we ask you to just take this time out to spend this time with God, knowing that the Holy Spirit will be with us this very morning. And so, I want to thank Praise Vision for powering us up again. We want to thank Praise Vision for just being with us and giving us this very platform to worship. And then I want to thank God for giving us this opportunity to also uh, uh, show Full Circle Ministries, a ministry that I believe that God birthed in my, in, in my heart. And then I want to add awesome ministry. For those who want to uh, have graphics in their ministry or to uh, just to do different things in their ministries, look to Awesome Ministries. Uh, you'll get all the help that you need concerning graphics and to just empower your ministry. And then Bright Radio. If you can download this app and listen to music and listen to, I'm talking to about wholesome music, brightradio.org, bringing right inspiration to everyone. And so today, we just want you to know that we believe that there are other entities that are worshiping, other entities that are helping when it comes to ministry. So we're asking you, to remember these other ministries as they are helping and sponsoring us for, the, for this month. Today, I want to share with you that so many have been leaving their emails, their prayer emails, their questions, and they have been basically moving to higher ground. But I want to thank my church, especially Restoration Praise Center. We are a church that are driven by the Holy Spirit, building by His grace. One thing that I'd like to leave with you is the very fact that because of God, we are everything. Because of who He is, we are everything. 
And so I want to share a special song with you. But I need you to know and understand that because of who he is, because of who he is, we give him the glory. We give him all that he deserves. So listen to this song and marinate on it as we talk a little bit about who God is. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Yes, I do. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Oh, Jesus, because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord. Just lift up your hands and just begin to worship. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus.
Because of who you are, I give you the glory. Because of who you are, we give you the praise. And it's amazing as we look in the chat room, we have someone named B in the chat room who gave what a wonderful testimony, a beautiful testimony of how God took care of her needs. Or, yes, okay. And so we're asking that God, that we will realize that through testimonies like this, that God will take care of your needs. I want to, you to know that God is listening. He is listening. Sometimes because of the way that life is, we sometimes feel like God is not listening to us. That his ear is not that low that he can hear us. But I want you to know that God's ear is that low that he can hear us. God loves us. He's always there to hear our faintest cry. Even as we prepare for a small word, I want to give this commercial to you where we'll come to understand that God is in the business of listening to us, of hearing us. this assurance that whatever we ask in his name he will give it to us that's the kind of God that we serve the kind of God that will give us what we ask for according to his will as we're going to his word today we want to talk a little bit about direction about where God expects for every disciple to be and so in this we bow our heads now as we ask God's presence as we talk a little bit about his word father again we want to thank you for your word we want to thank you that it is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And so today, as we open up our word and we listen, we're asking that your Holy Spirit will bless us so that we can realize and will realize what our path looks like today. Bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. And so today, I want to share with you this word. This word that is simply a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. You know, whenever we read the word, it's so important for us to know that it's an everyday occurrence that we must read his word. And this statement that we said last week that I want to share with you again today is that the Bible is meant to be bread for daily use, not cake for special occasions. And so we go into his word, we read his word, and 
we look to understand his word. I mean, out of all the books that we can read in the world, all the books that we can read in the world, why not the word of God? Why not his word? And so I want to share this word with you. The Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 28, verse starting with verse 17. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, this is the disciples, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. So he tells them, Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things which I have commanded. The Word of God says, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Wow, what a statement. I mean, God, at this point, is visiting his disciples. He's coming to talk to his disciples. And as he's talking to the disciples, the Bible says that some doubted. We understood that, uh, that Thomas doubted, but it said, and others doubted. And when they saw Jesus, Jesus was only interested in the fact that they can receive power to do the work that he has done while he was here on this earth. You see, the Bible says that he, he gave them a certain command. He commanded them throughout the whole time. He taught them throughout the whole time. And now he was expecting his disciples to do the same thing. The Bible is clear that we as disciples have something to do. And what is God asking us to do? God is asking us to first realize who, the, who, who has all the power. And the one who has all the power, according to the word, is Jesus Christ. He says all power is given to him in all of heaven and in all of earth. And with this power that's given to him, he then says, now I have something for you to do. You know, when we think of us, ourselves as disciples, God is asking us to do certain things. And this one thing he's asking us to do, especially as disciples, is that we are to go ye therefore, as the Bible says, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And the Bible also says that we are to teach them to observe all things. Not some things, but all things. And, and when the Bible talks about believing in him and teaching all things, He's saying, I'm giving you power to do this. I'm giving you authority to do this. And, and as you teach them, you can only teach them what I have commanded you. So how, how do we do this? What does this look like? Well, whenever we go into the word of God, we recognize that there must be a, a special baptism of the Holy Spirit. And then we must then go out and baptize individuals in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. But, but we must have that relationship with God where we can hear his commands and we must know his commands and his commands simply comes from the word of God. As you read the word of God, as we pray, as we uh, develop this relationship with him, we realize and know that he's the one that's commanding us. I have a question for you today. Who's commanding you? Who is the leader of your life? Who is the one that's influencing your life? Is it Christ or is it Satan? The truth of the matter is, is that when he commands us, he then expects us to do something with those commands. Number one, teach all nations. That's right. Teach them to observe all things whatsoever he has commanded us to do. And what's so beautiful about the, this whole thing that is that he will never leave us or forsake us. He's not going to command us to go out and we not do anything or we don't have that help that we need. It is clear that he says, and lo, hey, I am with you always, even to the end of the age or the end of the world. So he's not leaving you by yourself. He's not just throwing you out there and saying, hey, you better do this thing and that's it. No, he's saying, I am with you no matter what. The Bible says again, verse 17, and when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power, not some power, but all power is given unto me in heaven and earth. And now he gives us the power. In which way? He tells us, Go ye therefore. Listen, disciples, I want you to hear me. 
for all those who are on right now, it is, it is important for you to realize and know that God is telling us to go, ye therefore. Don't stay in one place. Don't be uh, comfortable in the state that you're in. He's saying to go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Teach them to observe all things whatsoever I command you. And I, and I always love this statement that, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. God is with you. God is with us. Because his word teaches us that he will never leave us nor forsake us. What a blessing. Today I want to share with you Water for the Thirsty. Water for the Thirsty is a Bible reading plan that takes you through a whole year of understanding the very character of God. I am asking you that you will go to waterforthirsty.com and download the PDF file and be a part of this worship experience each morning as you read God's holy word. You know, you become stronger by reading his word. And so again, we invite you to Water for the Thirsty, where the word is simply refreshing. Then I want to share with each one of you that today at 10 a.m., today at 10 a.m., we have refill, prayer, more power, more love, more joy. On Sundays at 10 a.m., we have refill, where we come together for half an hour and pray and testify and give a short understanding of his word so that we will leave understanding that there, with more prayer, with more prayer, there's more power. And then today I ask you to send your prayer requests to fcmbootcamp at gmail.com. That's fcmbootcamp at gmail.com because we want to pray for you. And so today we're asking now that the Holy Spirit will be with us as we prepare for prayer. Send your prayer request right now, not only to the email, but also in the chat room so that we can pray for you. As we prepare by writing our prayer requests, know that he's listening that he's still guiding, that he's still in control, and he will do anything that we ask according to his will. Let's prepare for prayer. together let's pray because we know that God will do for us what we cannot do for ourselves let's pray father again we come before you first of all thank you for life and for strength and the opportunity of prayer and praise 
This morning we approach you simply because we're thankful that you woke us up this morning and started us on our way. Lord, we want to thank you for all that you've done. We want to thank you just for listening to us. Thank you for allowing us to be your disciples. And so today, as we draw closer to you, we're asking for a double portion of your Holy Spirit in our lives today. We recognize today you are asking us to be the disciples we need to be by going forth, proclaiming your message, baptizing individuals, knowing that all power is given to you, but more than that, you'll be with us all the way. Today, Lord, we look at all the different prayer requests, and we're asking you, Lord, to be with individuals who are asking for strength and endurance, for health. Someone is asking for a prayer for their daughter who's sick, praying for answers uh, for, for their prayers. There's in, uh, an individual who's asking for faith and humility in all areas of her life. We're asking, Lord, for motivation and determination to finish papers for Pathfinders, Master Guide requirements. Davina is praying for her, her school. B is praying for gainful employment. She's also praying for a mate. Sister Marlene is praying for uh, her pastor, Samuel Hutchins. Lord, we're asking in a special way that for those who are tuning in, that they will recognize that you can do all things. There are individuals who are asking for a double portion of your Holy Spirit right now. We're recognizing that there are individuals that are looking to rebuild their marriage, rebuild their relationships. We look at all of our children right now. We ask you to bless our children. We ask you for spiritual healing. We're asking you for individuals who are asking at this point for uh, a healing and being with his wife's health. We pray for Daniel and his wife's health. We're asking you for consistency and courage to do the things that needs to be done. So we, we're asking you to bless Rowan and Mark Twain. You know what I'm asking in a special way that you'll continue to rest in the Bible with us because we realize that we can't do this alone. Today, Lord, we ask for your Holy Spirit in our lives. And I ask you that you be with Restoration Pray Center right now as we are continuing to build by your grace. Looking at such a building, Lord, we do not want to build a building but not build our lives. So today, Lord, we ask that you continue to rest and abide with us and bless us. Today, we want to move to higher ground. Today, we want to get into your word. Today, we want to be stronger than we've ever been. Today, we want to be driven by your Holy Spirit, building by your grace. So bless our church plans. Bless our going out and coming in. Bless our worship today. In this, we come to just simply say, Lord, we love you, and we appreciate you being the God of our lives. So today, we ask for a double blessing and all the prayer requests, from the emails to uh, those that are jotted down in our chat room. We say thank you. So bless us today, in Jesus' name, amen. So today, we want to thank you for joining us on Bi at Bible Boot Camp. We want to thank you for being a part of this worship experience. We know for a fact that God is here to bless us. And today I'm going to ask that as we close off that you do something special for, uh, for Bible Boot Camp. And that is to be a part of uh, our support. Just if you can, if you can, just support us. Just go to our Facebook page and just click on either the Bible Boot Camp, uh, the Bible Boot Camp uh, t-shirt or the fact that you have survived Bible Boot Camp and just buy your shirt or buy one for someone else and just support this ministry. And so we're also asking you to sh spread the word. Spread the word simply because in November, in November, we're going to do this again. Not October, but November, we're going to do this again where the subject is going to be born to deliver. So the boot camp in November will be born to deliver. So may be asking, Pastor, wait a second. That sounds like something familiar. Well, yes, it is true. So I ask you that you'll continue to pray for me as I keep moving forward in writing this book. And as we're finishing this book, I ask that you that it will be a spirit-filled book. 
by the end of this month. And so I ask you to continue to pray for me that, <clears throat> that I'll finish my course and as I'm running this race. Again, when you have time, go to our Facebook page and simply uh, support us with one of these t-shirts, especially the one, I Survived Bible Boot Camp, because we are surviving with three more days left. So today, be blessed to know that God is moving us to higher ground. That's the kind of God we serve. So this Sunday, this day, this first day of the week, we're asking God to help us to be the great disciples we need to be by moving to higher ground. Be blessed today, and God bless you. Lift me up, and I shall stand by faith on heaven's